Hello everyone, I hope you're doing so well and having an amazing week. And welcome to this little video all about low toxic or non-toxic solvents for oil painting. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe if you are new and thank you so much for your amazing comments on my last video. And at the end of this video, there might be a little TikTok quiz, but I can't guarantee because it may get too late. Tragic. Before we start, I'm going to tell you a quick tragic story and that is, this may be the last time you see the plant behind me. And I'll tell you why. Because... Something bad happened. It was my fault, basically. I thought it needed some water, and so I just grabbed any old cup and just threw the liquid in there, and it was actually hot chocolate. So I don't know whether this is gonna survive. I don't think it really thrives on hot chocolate. I feel like the milk might kill it. Okay, on to the serious topic. <laughs> right, so yes, indeed. The, um, what is a solvent? Okay, let's start with that. So a solvent is basically something that you use to thin your paint. Uh, it, we, some people call it a paint thinner. And usually it's something like turpentine or Gamsol. Those are probably the two most famous ones. And what it does is essentially you thin your paint at the beginning of a painting to create a lean layer of paint right at the beginning of your piece. And then subsequent layers, you start adding fat medium into your paint. You follow the fat over lean technique. You can also use solvent to clean your brushes. So it's an amazing, amazing product. And everyone out there, they're always looking for a solvent that is amazing, but that also has a low odor and low toxicity. Because obviously when you're working, you're painting away and you've got all these solvents in front of your face and you're like, yeah, it's going really well. But little do you know that you're actually breathing it all in. And of course, if you're breathing something very toxic, then, um, you know, it can affect you in the long term. So that is the reason why a lot of these non-toxic solvents are coming more onto the market. Um, now, turpentine has been known as the best, of course. Uh, that is not non-toxic and it's not even low toxicity. Uh, you do need proper, proper good ventilation for turpentine. But the reason people still use it, because I'm sure you're thinking, well, why do people use it if it's bad for you? The reason people still use it is because it is an amazing solvent. What it does is it basically cuts through the paint so much so, <laughs> yeah, so much so that uh, you have this most thin, thin um, wash that you can create with just very, very little product. So you use very little turpentine and you can get an amazing wash, almost like a watercolor effect in your first layer. And that's so great for getting details, defining, um, creating that beautiful wash-like sketch. So, of course, because turpentine is toxic and if you have a small studio space, such as moi, and you don't like to leave the window open all the time because of course we're going into winter and if you leave the window open you will probably end up with a plague. <laughs> no toxic or non-toxic products are the future. Now um, there are some that have been around for a very long time so I'm going to talk about the best, my personal opinion, and my personal opinion the absolute worst because there are a couple on here that I don't like um, but that's for a very specific reason. So, uh, which should we start with? Eeny meeny. Oh, by the way, I have one, two, three, four, five, five to talk about. Usually, artists on YouTube, particularly, I find, use Gamsol. And it was the first solvent alternative that I came across, an alternative to turpentine, because uh, when I was using turpentine, it's not so bad, and I was thinking, I need to find like a different one. Uh, Gamsol was the first one I came across, and it is for most artists. If you go on YouTube, you look at any sort of oil painting time lapses, most of the artists use Gamsol. And the reason why it's so great is, firstly, it's made by Gamlin, which is an incredible company. They have a beautiful oil paint line and they focus very much on environmentally friendly products or products that don't have a high amount of toxicity. And so this is a, a mineral spirit. Just as a thing, it is a petroleum-based product. So this means that it does have some toxicity. It's not totally non-toxic. If you use it, you have to keep either your window open or a fan going or something because even though it's had most of the toxicity kind of filtered out of it, there is a still a little bit there. So you don't want to, you know, be like splashing it all over your canvas and not having any ventilation. I would say that's not really good to be breathing it in all the time. Um, so yeah, so it is one of the most popular. My personal opinion though, even though I, you know, I do use it from time to time and I have used it on some of my paintings that I've sold before and things, um, it's actually my, one of my least favourite 
solvents because I actually just don't like the way it looks. And actually it's funny because I really adore the Gamblin oil painting mediums, like all the mediums that have Gamsol mixed in because all of their mediums, like as far as I'm aware, apart from maybe Galkid, which you have to add, add Gamsol in yourself. Uh, but apart from that one, I believe the rest of them all have um, Gamsol in them. For example, Neon McGill or Galkid Gel. So they all contain Gamsol in them, but they have other things added. And the mediums, I think, are absolutely excellent. And I do think it is an excellent product. It's really, really useful. But I just find that whenever I paint an underpainting with it, when I layer my oils on top of that underpainting, I find that I get almost this like faded look to my paintings. I don't know what it is. I'm like, it's almost as though the paintings look a bit misty or something. It's a bit weird. And I don't know why it is because I've seen on YouTube other people use it and get be much better results than I do. So I don't think I'm doing it wrong. I think I've tried it in every possible way. I just, for me, it just doesn't seem to work very well. But as a a mineral spirit that has very low toxicity and that is really easy to use because it is, um, it is a really, really good one. And as I say, a lot of people love it. So yeah, this is the thing, just one more thing about Gamsol. It doesn't really have much of a scent, but it does have a slight scent. And I know this sounds really weird, but I do think it smells very, very slightly of petrol. And that sounds really bizarre because I imagine people would be like, oh, I don't want anything that smells like petrol that I'm using in my painting setup. But it's, the smell is so faint that it is almost undetectable. But to me, that's what it smells like very slightly. Yeah. Anyway, as I say, the scent is very, very low. It's one of the lowest odour solvents. So next up, uh, I think I'm going to try to talk about... Um, okay, so now we're actually heading on to much less toxicity. So less than Gamsol. So this is probably um, zero toxicity, actually, from my experience. Now, I can't say 100%. Because even if you look at the safety data sheets, sometimes um, companies don't always divulge exactly what is in their product. But from what I can tell, this is uh, pretty much completely non-toxic. And the only risk that you have with using solvents of any kind is, um, especially when they're listed as non-toxic, is catching fire. <laughs> Not yourself, but... If you soak anything like rags or anything like that um, they can catch fire and that's with any type of solvent so you just want to be careful of that like dispose of your rags put them in a metal container or something like that um, be really really careful because that's the, the biggest risk but yeah so this is the this is the famous eco solve um, I believe this is made in the US and I think I don't quote me a hundred percent on this but I think that this is a soy based product um, it doesn't have any smell when I'm using it. It's a very, very thin fluid. And actually, I feel like it thins the paint down really, really well. Almost to, um, I think, even beyond Gamsol. I think it's, it thins paint more than Gamsol. It has a little bit of almost matte finish. So I feel like with Gamsol, it's quite matte as well. But it's not as matte as this one. I feel like this one is really, really matte. Um, I really like it. And I also use it as a brush thin brush cleaner. It doesn't really have a scent when I'm using it but what's really weird is I once decanted this into a container and then went away and forgot about it and then a few weeks later I opened the container and the container really stank like it smelled so bad and it, it smelled of gone off olives which is really strange it was such a weird smell and I was like what is that smell um and it's actually the smell was seeping through the container even though it's pretty much airtight because I kept walking around going like what the hell is that smell um so anyway yeah, so I think it's a funny thing, but I, overall, I really, really like this um, Eco Solve. I think it's a great product. Uh, if I was to compare it to Gamsol, personally, I prefer this one. Um, I can't really see any negatives to it. I just think it's a really nice product, and I really like the way it works. It does clean brushes. Just be aware, though, that I do find, in terms of cleaning brushes, it because it somehow is a bit thicker, even though it thins the paint really well, it's a bit thicker when you clean your brushes. I feel like Gamsol is more effective at cleaning brushes. The next up, we have Wallace Seymour. This is my absolute favourite out of all the ones I've tried so far. So, uh, spoiler alert, that's what people say. Um, so yes, this is the Wallace Seymour. As you can see, I've gone through quite a lot of it. This is my second bottle, I'm pretty sure. This is called the Coco Bello um, Plant-Based Natural Odourless Painting and... Um, 
the label is rubbed off, but I think it would just say something like solvent or paint thinner. Um, so this comes in a very little bottle. Um, you don't need very much of it. It thins the paint really, really well. It doesn't say what, how this product is made on their website. So Wallace Seymour, as I've mentioned on my channel before, they're quite a small um, paint company, like a luxury boutique oil painting brand. And I'm pretty sure this is actually available at Jackson's as well. So it's not as difficult to find as some of their other products. Um, and yeah, so it's just, it's a really, really good one. It basically thins the paint out really, really nicely. It leaves a slight gloss, which I like. And actually what I find amazing about it is when you start layering paint on top of um, your, un your underpainting, I find that the paint comes out really glowing and glossy, which I really, really like. So it has a nice transparency to it and translucency when you thin it down. But you can also use it like sparingly with your painting, with your underpainting, and then create like a thicker underpainting as well. And it works really nicely that way. Uh, so overall, I've just had amazing results with it. And I just think it's a really lovely product. It has no smell. Like I feel like out of all of these, the odour is the lowest. And yeah, it's just incredible. And my only complaint about it is that it's not well known enough. I feel like people should know all about it because I just think it's amazing. I wonder if it's soy based. I don't know the answer to that. Um, it will remain a mystery. <laughs> now my friends, we move on to the, the most dud product so far. And this is my in my worst list. So the other three I totally recommend 100%. The EcoSolve the Wallace Seymour and the Gamsol. Even though Gamsol doesn't necessarily work for me, I think it's a great product and I still do use it. So I'm, you know, it's it's in my recommendations for sure. <laughs> this one is the one that I picked up recently and I was so excited about it. I have reviews about this and this is, drum roll, the, Cl the, Chelsea, the Chelsea Classical Studio Lean Medium. So here we go, this is it. And so they also have, by the way, so this is their underpainting medium, um, but they also have the lavender spike oil solvent where you just use that as your thinner. So you can use either one. This has the lavender spike oil hidden inside. So, and it's mixed with linseed oil, I believe. Linseed oil, extra pale, cold pressed. Okay, so this is meant to be um, a non-toxic product or mostly non-toxic so like Gamsol but probably slightly less toxic than Gamsol but you're kind of looking in that sort of area so it's not completely non-toxic because it does have a warning label here which is a CL ACMI label which does mean to me that you need to keep the windows open um, and it's quite confusing because I read their data their safety data sheet and for me having read that I do think that ventilation is probably key but in my personal opinion, you have to keep ventilation because my issue with this, it's in a really nice bottle, looks really nice, looks really fancy, looks like one of those, sort of, it looks like a magical potion you'd see in a really fancy, you know, old fashioned art store. My thing about this is, firstly, this is expensive. It's 23 pounds for this tiny amount. I mean, how much is this? 125 mil, I'm guessing. I don't know, and it's not even on here. <laughs> it's not even written on here. Oh no, it is, I lie. 100, it's only 118 millilitres, good lord, and it is £23 and it stinks, like to me it smells like, I can't even hold it in my face because it smells so bad, to me it smells like old musty perfume and when I say old musty perfume I mean like old musty perfume but times a thousand like the smell of it is so strong I to me I find it unbearable so basically I read reviews of this and um there were loads of people who said it's it's a fantastic medium and I have to agree with that like in terms of its performance it's brilliant because it's very similar to turpentine in the sense that when you add just a tiny tiny amount it cuts through the paint hiya and uh <laughs> yeah and it is instant thinning of the paint to the most thinnest watercolour effect you would ever dream of. So in terms of its performance, yes, it's brilliant, but <laughs> it smells like death and hell. I believe that if one went to hell, this is what it would smell like. Because to me, this smells like if you get like an old coat, right? An old coat, you have an old coat, 
and you pour like 10 bottles of perfume on it and then you put the coat in a cupboard and lock it like an old cupboard and then leave it for a hundred years and then open the cupboard where there's all like mothballs and dust that is the smell that is that smell it's like stale perfume <laughs> it's so funny because i've read so many reviews of people being like yes it's the best product ever and then there were the but then there was always no matter what site i went on there was always one person at least who was like this smells horrendous and the, the funniest part of it is it's not only that it smells horrendous it's that it lingers it lingers around the smell <laughs> doesn't go away and so I used it um, for the first time with my windows wide open and I remember when I was painting thinking god this really stinks and like I threw away what I was painting on because it smelled so bad I actually smelt I actually smelt <laughs> threw the painting away and I threw away all my materials I was using not the paint obviously but like everything that I was using I cleaned everything up and the smell lingered where I was painting for two days like it didn't go and I don't know why because there was plenty of air circulation so I do not know what was going on and actually the funniest thing was that when I was painting it was the smell was so strong that it was actually making me feel like quite ill like I felt quite sick and I actually thought I was going to pass out and I thought to myself what if I actually died of like the inhalation and I thought I was just going to be like collapse over my painting and people will come in and find me and they'd be like what killed her and they would never know because there would be nothing that would indicate what killed me and it would be like you know a forever mystery on one of those like mystery programs and yet all along it was this. <laughs> Basically, did I tell you I didn't like the smell? Oh yeah. <laughs> Basically, I think, as I say, it's an amazing medium. If it didn't smell, I would use it all the time. But I recommend, if you want to try it, get the smallest bottle you can possibly find. I think this is the smallest bottle in England. <laughs> Because I looked on, I looked everywhere on the internet, and that, that this was the only one that had this product in it. Um, but I think that maybe greatart.com, I think they have a smaller version or a version that is cheaper than the one that I got from Jackson's. So if I were you, test it out first, because unfortunately, a lot of um, art stores don't allow you to return products unless they're in like a resaleable condition and so I've already used some of this so uh, yeah well so I've got one more left and um, unfortunately this is another fail for me but it might be a win for you and that is Sunilier uh, Green for Oil I can't see it from here actually I really wanted to show them can you see that? no probably not this is quite a famous one it's a, of a famous line of Sunilier which is their Green for Oil line and so they've come out with all these different products that have a low or no toxicity. I mean, it seems to me that they have no toxicity because you can even take them on planes, which is their sort of claim about it. I believe them. I imagine that's true. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any warnings listed on the labels or anything like that. And it does have an AP rating, which is great. However, this sad tale, I feel like it might just be, bleh, I feel like it might just be me. Um, it is a fantastic thinner, by the way. It's a really, really good one. And it reminds me a lot of the Wallace Seymour one. Um, I think they're both absolutely excellent. I do slightly prefer this one though, I don't know why, it's probably just because I like the feel of it a bit more, but they're both brilliant. The only thing is, with the Sunilier, uh, this, I'm allergic to this, every time I've used it, it makes, and this is really really weird, and I wonder if I'm the only person this happens to, it makes like my, the skin around my mouth itch, like it's really really weird, almost like I have some sort of al like allergy to it, but as if it feels as though I've got hay fever on my face. <laughs> it's really, really bizarre. And I haven't heard anyone else say they get this reaction because I've looked at reviews of it and I thought I was going mad. But every time I use it, and I've used it quite a bit because I do like it a lot. In fact, there's a painting that I created um, on my channel, which is a portrait of a girl with an owl on her shoulder. And I use this a lot in that painting and it, it, the painting came out really well I was really happy with it because this does thin the paint down really beautifully but alas I can't use it because I'm really scared because it feels like my face is going to fall off and um, yeah either <laughs> I feel like 
uh, I feel like out of death and um, my face falling off. I don't know, I just prefer to pass on these two. But I would say though that I've not heard anyone else claim they haven't had an allergic reaction to this one. So by all means, try it because it is like, apart from the allergic reaction, it is a brilliant thinner. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I do hope you enjoyed this video. I wanted to continue, but my battery is running out. It's on 5%. I have one of those really annoying phones where if your battery is really close to the end, they're just like, we cannot capture this because you have no battery, which is, you know, shocking. So I do hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you soon. Take care guys.